R&D is a three-act work, so it is uh, three versions of Romeo and Juliet. Um, Jack and I are in the first act, which is set in modern times, it's set in a nightclub. We're in amongst all these people and everyone's dancing and having a great time and then we see each other from across the room. So it is very much like you would go out and you know when you see someone you kind of, you know, check them out and go there. So we bring the more edgy and passionate version of Romeo and Juliet. This particular work translates really well as a dance piece because it is such a well-known story. And all through um, the three acts, there's a character that plays the role of fate. No matter what happens, there's always going to be... He lurks sort of in the background, he brings himself forward, and no matter what happens, there's always going to be... Fate will intervene. Every, everyone's intentions start to clash. Fate wants Julia, Julia wants Romeo, and Romeo wants Julia. But it just, like, fate just won't have a bar of it. He, he's going to take Julia away. He's a manipulator away from... and he keeps sort of removing me away from him and I'm fighting to get back to him and it ends up in this big scuffle. Mm. Yeah. There is a fight scene between Romeo and the character of fate and it is an extremely physical scene. So David's been very patient with me, teaching me this fight scene and all the choreography. I can't say I've ever done anything this physically challenging before. The progression, the gain of uh, the trio into the fight scene is very, it pushes you to, to your limit by the end, you're just absolutely wrecked. Um, you feel like you have, you've been beaten up at the end of it. Um, which is what we want it to look like. Um, so that's, yeah, it's a lot nicer to actually do that than to just sort of pretend, I think. That way you, you can sink your teeth in it and enjoy what you're doing rather than feel like you're faking it the whole time. And dance has such an amazing way of creating emotion through movement and I think that's what Natalie's amazing ability is with her partnering, is creating emotion through movement without anything being forced. It's telling a story. Um, straight away.